How's my quad squad doing? It's the man, the myth, the legend, Quad MFT here, bringing you guys another awesome Advanced Warfare video. If you guys haven't noticed, this gameplay is not by myself. It's by my boy Swag, aka Chris. Link to his channel down in the description below. Please go ahead and subscribe to him. He's an absolute monster of a Call of Duty player. Also uploads every day and uploads really good YouTube Call of Duty content. So if you guys want to go check him out, please go do that. Go subscribe to him, drop a few likes on his videos. Great guy, good friend of mine. So let's talk more about the gameplay and overall the MP40. So the MP40 is obviously an amazing weapon. It's definitely a top three. I've talked about that in my video, not from yesterday, but from the day before about how good the MP40 was. But I'm actually going to give it a new title now. I'm going to give it, <laughs> this. I don't know if this is a huge title or a small title or whatever, but I'm going to give it the best supply drop weapon. So that's obviously not including things like the Battle 27, the HBR, the AK-12, the ASM-1, KF-5, you know, guns that you regularly unlock via just playing the game and ranking up and just overall just playing the game. Guns like the STG-44, the M1911, the AK-47, Cell 3 Cauterizer, guns like that that come from actually opening supply drops, I would have to rank the MP40 as the best one. With the rate of fire and the lack of recoil, it's a dominant weapon. You guys got to check it out. I would suggest you guys actually going out and buying some supply drops and trying to get this. I mean, obviously, if you guys don't feel like buying supply drops, don't do it. Just try and get it on normal or just live without it. Either way, I'm not going to rate it as overpowered to the point where it's like, holy crap, this is 10 times better than the ASM-1. We're paying to win. I don't really think it's like that. I mean, I do think you can pay to get supply drops and get cool new guns, but I don't think they're going to be the best in the world. So overall, the MP40 is an absolute monster of a weapon. If you guys haven't noticed by now, this is actually this is a DNA bomb gameplay. If you guys have seen DNA bomb gameplays, this one is not on a reverse boosted account. Reverse boosted account is normally where it has really low stats to play with really low skill players, which I don't mind. That's really entertaining gameplay. Like to see some guy just absolutely destroy someone and drop four DNA bombs or something like that over or like 150 kills. That's really entertaining in my opinion, no matter who you're playing against. But this one is not done on a reverse boosted account, so it is a little bit harder. Also, I wanted to talk about how he's using a suppressor and how most people, including myself, wouldn't really suggest that you use a suppressor on mainly any gun. In advanced warfare maybe the bow 27 can sometimes substitute with the suppressor maybe the asm1 not not really but <laughs> he does it with the asm1 i mean he does it with the with the mp40 he manages to drop a dna, a DNA bomb with with the mp40 with a suppressor which is not crazy to me but it's not normal i would say normally like grip uh, advanced rifling i, I want to i don't want to say rapid fire because i haven't really seen any gameplay with it but i can imagine how good it would be but extended mags is also a, a big up on this gun so i would try that out if you guys get the chance overall this is an amazing gameplay there's the dna bomb go check out my boy swag or chris link to his channel down in the description below i'm definitely rating this as the best supply drop gun in advanced warfare so hopefully you guys enjoyed like ratings on these videos are always appreciated man it really helps me grow the channel subscribe to my channel join the quad squad we're grinding our way up to 70,000 subscribers it's been your boy quad mft and i'm audi 5000